I'm sick of that tactic. I'm yeah. sick of that tactic. Do you guys, I mean, I've said this before on the show. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna keep repeating it. The labeling someone one of the isms to intimidate them and silence them and prevent them from saying things you don't wanna hear, it's a tired tactic at this point and it's not working. Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, and the other hosts of The View were not happy that Jon Stewart was critical of Joe Biden and his age and his cognitive ability. Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uger commented on this and gave their views of how they felt about Jon Stewart's comments as well as Whoopi Goldberg and the other host of The View and their comments. So we're going to take a look at what each had to say, and I will interject with my own views. No pun intended. I think what's so offensive to me, I love that, that John Stewart is back, but what's so offensive to me is there's a difference between age and intelligence. The problem with this country is that we don't value people with their wisdom. We don't value seniors. We don't value us. So I want to jump in right here. So the Sonny Hostin saying we don't value seniors and this is ageism. No one is saying that we should take seniors and shoot them into the sun or it should be soil it green and we turn them into food or something. People are just saying these people that are running our country and trying to run our country need to retire. Normal people retire at 65. We have... One guy who's in the White House, who's over 80. We have a guy running against him who's almost 80. We've had numerous and still have numerous members of Congress who are in their 70s and 80s. We had Mitch McConnell freezing up, you know, almost stroking out on TV. Uh, Anna Kasparian and Jink Uger are going to talk about Dianne Feinstein, who was totally out of it, you know, late in her term in Congress before she died. But let's hear what Anna Kasparian and Jen Uger have to say about this. Sonny Hostin, one of the hosts on The View, was not happy with comedian Jon Stewart's recent coverage of Biden's very obvious mental decline. We all see it. And uh, even went so far as to call that kind of criticism ableist. And she's very offended <laughs> by it. Th these politics kind of worked several years ago. No one cares how offended you are anymore. We can all see what everyone grounded in reality can see. Biden is struggling. It's not that he's old. It's that his mental capacity has been diminished. It is very clear to people. And we're talking about, what are we doing? Jake, like, we're, we're just going along with things. Like, the, the country. I'd, I'd slightly disagree with Anna Kasparian here. I mostly agree with what they're going to be saying. But. It is that he's old. People lose a step or several steps when they get old. How many people would go to an 80-year-old to have their heart, heart surgery done? How many people would want to have an 80-year-old person flying the plane that they're in? Normal people are retiring well before this. People want to retire, but these people hang on forever. They hang on way too long country is just moving along as if president of the United States isn't like the most important job in the country slash world. Yeah. What are we doing? Well, television is a propaganda box. How about if we said it about Diane Feinstein? In fact, I did say it about Diane Feinstein. They said offensive. She had completely lost her mind. She was not in early onset dementia. She was in very late stage dementia. Couldn't remember a thing. Diane Feinstein took part in votes that she had no idea what she was doing, where people had to literally tell her, they were literally telling her how to vote. I mean, I've said this before on the show, I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna keep repeating it. The labeling someone one of the isms to intimidate them and silence them and prevent them from saying things you don't wanna hear, it's a tired tactic at this point and it's not working. So look, last thing on the H uh, in, in terms of the specific examples that Sonny hosting, if she gave Slater said, there's uh, people who are old who are do, still doing great, like Nancy Pelosi. Have you guys seen Nancy Pelosi on TV lately? She's a hot mess. She can't put two sentences together. Trump for the third time now, Biden for the second time, and a majority of Americans do not want 
either of these guys in there. I'm sure some of it, you know, some of it is policy, but I'm sure that many people would like somebody younger with newer ideas. You know, we just look at some of the things as far as Biden's foreign policy that younger voters are really unhappy about. He has had the same views on a particular country in the Middle East for decades, and that hasn't changed, and he's not going to change with that. Sonny Hostin, Whoopi Goldberg, and these other people on TV are there to defend the establishment. They're not going to upset the apple cart. The, the establishment has allowed them to get where they are, to be very rich, and to be people on TV. They like what they are doing, particularly what they are doing for them, Sonny Austin, Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, and the rest of the people on TV. Now, funny enough, Jon Stewart addressed people like Sonny Hostin during his, uh, you know, his Daily Show segment. He said, what's crazy is thinking that we're the ones as voters who must silence concerns and criticisms. It is the candidate's job to assuage concerns, not the voter's job not to mention them. You see, that's exactly why they triggered him. We have two candidates who are chronologically outside the norm of anyone who has run for the presidency in the history of this country, breaking the record that they set. And 100% right with what Jon Stewart is saying here. We have two guys who are over the hill. We've never seen two candidates this old that are our only choices. This is the best that we can do out of 330 340 million people, these two very old men, both of whom are in cognitive decline. It's obvious with both of them, they aren't as sharp as they were even four years ago. I'm going to stop here for just a moment to say if you're enjoying this content, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like and give me a subscribe. That really helps me out. Great points from Anna Kasparian and, and Cenk Uger about The View and Sonny Hostin and Whoopi Goldberg and how they feel about Biden. That he can't be criticized based on his age and his cognitive decline. Um, one thing that they didn't say, I would go farther than them. I think we need a cutoff age. We have a minimum age to be president of 35. I think we need to have a cutoff age of 65 to run for president and to run for Congress. Maybe we could stretch that out to 70, but that's it. Again, that's normal people are retiring by that age and are enjoying their time with their families or traveling or going around in their motorhome or on the beach or whatever. Do you agree with Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uger here? Do you agree with the ladies of The View? Should we go easier on Biden and should age not be a factor or cognitive decline not be a factor? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg and the rest, are they correct? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.